Hey, so I received many requests to do a time to kill analysis of two certain weapons, and they are the MA40 assault rifle and the VK78 commando. And you know what, man? I'm curious about those kill times myself, so let's do it. So the Halo Infinite AR has an optimal TTK of about 1.15 seconds. It requires 12 bullets to break the shield and two headshots for the kill, a total of 14. Now for body shots, the TTK is 1.4 seconds. Again, 12 bullets to break shield, but an extra five body shots for the kill, a total of 17. Now for the VK-78 Commando, optimal TTK is slightly faster. It is about 1.0 seconds flat, requiring 6 bullets to break shield and 1 headshot, so a total of 7. But interestingly, the body shot TTK is the same as the AR, 1.4 seconds, again requiring those 6 bullets for shields, but 4 body shots to kill, a total of 10. And here's a side by side of the AR and Commando to compare the weapon kill times, optimal and body shots. Alright boys, so one thing I'll mention is even though these kill times are quick, do not be fooled into thinking you're gonna get them every time. Both of these weapons have radical bloom and significant recoil. So within 10 to 20 meters, you might be able to get those optimal kills, but beyond that, accuracy and recoil will be kicking like crazy, especially for the AR. You'll be shooting well close to like 2 seconds just to kill a player. You're gonna be burst firing to fight the recoil or spraying and praying while you're going fully automatic. Now the Commando does hold up better at medium and extended ranges because it is made to function as a long range precision automatic. It's no doubt more accurate than the AR. But trust me, it has some insane vertical climb too. That said though, I think it's fine to keep the VK78 from being OP. Personally, I don't mind the style of accuracy balance for both these guns, and I'd rather have more recoil than extreme reticle bloom like it was in Halo Reach that made some weapons completely useless. In Halo Infinite, AR and Commando feel fine in terms of bloom, but I do think 3 for 3 will slightly decrease recoil in the final game. Anyway, that's it for the AR and Commando. I think both these guns are balanced fine for automatics, but let me know what you guys think about these weapons, do you like them or not? As always, thank you for watching and until next time. Three.